Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about bail. What is bail? Bail is a security given for the release of a person in custody of the law, furnished by him or a bondsman, to guarantee his appearance before any court is required under the conditions specified. And it can be given in different forms, like corporate surety, property bond, cash deposit, or recognizance. Why is bail necessary in the first place? The right to bail is a constitutional right, except for those charged with offenses punishable by reclusion perpetua, and the evidence of guilt is strong. The purpose of bail is to ensure that a person who is arrested is not held indefinitely while awaiting trial. Ang bail security yan, para yung akusado na mabibail, bibigyan siya ng provisional liberty, pansamantalang kalayaan habang ongoing yung kaso. Yung bail na yan, para yan mas mas secured garantiya ang korte na pagkailangan kang umaten yung akusado, pagpapakita ka. Do accused charged with a capital offense and the evidence of guilt is strong have a right to bail? No, in that case, the accused has no right to bail. The proper action of a judge is to cancel the bail instead of increasing it. Can fugitives apply for bail? No, a fugitive may not apply for bail unless he gives himself up first so he may be placed under the custody of the law. Custody of the law is required before the court can act on an application for bail. What if the accused violates the conditions of his bail? The bondsman may arrest him or, upon written authority endorsed on a certified copy of the undertaking, cause him to be arrested by a police officer or any other person of suitable age and discretion. When is bail not allowed? Bail is not allowed in three situations. First, when a person is charged with a capital offense or an offense punishable by reclusion perpetua or life imprisonment and evidence of guilt is strong. Second, after the judgment of conviction has become final. And third, after the accused has commenced a serve sentence. Who has the burden of proof in a bail application? At the hearing of an application for bail filed by a person who is in custody for the commission of an offense punishable by death, reclusion perpetua, or life imprisonment, the prosecution has the burden of showing that evidence of guilt is strong. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions or concerns about the bail process in the Philippines, it's always best to consult with a legal expert who can provide you with the guidance and advice you need. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions for future topics, please let me know in the comments below. See you in the next video.